Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to add a video texture to an actor object. Um, so you can see here this one already has a video texture applied to it. Uh, but what we're going to do is actually create a video texture from scratch. And so uh, it's very easy to do that. You just need to do two things. You need to create a new internal and external cast. And I'll show you how to do that. You start by creating a new internal cast and you just give it the name that you want your video texture. So in this case, we're just going to call it example. And this is the only tricky part. You need to, um, in the second uh, field here in your cast, you need to add text. So you click on the text field box. And you need to list the um, we've already created the internal cast, we need to list the external casts um, which are going to contain our image files. So in this case we've called our um, um, video texture example uh, and so what I'm going to do is just say example one which means that there'll be one other external cast that will contain our image files. And I'm also going to call this um, video file as you can see here under cast member properties or cast member name. I'm just going to call it video file small v capital F no space. So we can just close that and then we're going to create an external cast and like I said this is what's going to contain all of our images so click external and just exactly what we called it in the text file it will be called example 1 and if you had more than a thousand images uh, in your TIFF sequence then you would create um, a new external cast for every thousand images. So for the first thousand image would be example one, the second thousand would be example two. So we create our example one external cast and then we're just going to import uh, we're going to import videos or import sorry our video which is actually uh, now a TIFF sequence. Um, so you click import uh, and then so under um, we're just going to find a TIFF sequence here. Under the import settings, you need to shift click all of the files you want to import. Make sure you go down and click add. Now that you've added to them, them to the file list, you can click import. Now this is the other important part here. You have to remember to click same setting for remaining images when this image options dialog pops up. Uh, otherwise you have to keep doing it for every single image you add. So we're just adding a small number here. We're just adding about um, 17 images. Um, but what we've done now is because we've named this series of images in our uh, video file here, um, this, these two files basically creates the new video texture. So uh, I'm going to save this and you'll see what happens is that I'm prompted for a name um, to uh, save this cast and this is the external cast that we've created. You have to save it independently of your other director project. So you just click save. Um, I'm just going to overwrite this project that was already called example one. Um, we'll just replace that. And so now uh, the only thing that I can do that's maybe optional here is this in this first space this is where you would import your audio. So it's just as simple as going up to import um, and we'll find ourselves an audio file. Uh, and it can be either a QuickTime video uh, or I recommend actually a, a mono wave file. Um, in this case though we're just going to import this QuickTime video and this is just some you know nonsense uh, nonsense audio file that's just going to loop in the background as we play. Now you can see that we've already acted, uh, added this video texture to this uh, object actor. I'm going to delete it and then I'm just going to re-add it to show you how to do that. You click on add behavior and you're going to click on video texture. Now all of these behaviors or all these properties, sorry, uh, are all going to be um, these defaults are pretty much going to be okay but just drag, go down to the bottom here and you can see uh, under actor, enter actor video cast name, you'll see that because I've created that video file text um, called example, uh, under the cast called example, that'll show up now as a video cast. 
so I can choose that new video texture that I've created. Uh, and then I can also choose some of the other features here, maybe start playing video automatically. Um, if you don't want it to, if you wanted to make an interactive piece, uh, then you would deselect that and you could start the video with a script or with another behavior, but don't worry about that now. Uh, spatialize the audio in 3D only works if it's a mono wave file. Um, and then enter a number of times to repeat the video texture. Keep it at negative one, which means that it repeats infinitely. Uh, especially when you're first testing so you know where things are and so you can uh, see how they behave. Um, and so that's pretty much it. That's how you create a video texture.